fine air art and the idea is you go outside and you look at something and you paint it. So Bordentown's a really historical town. Um, there's a lot of different stories that have happened here. There's also just a lot of different sides of the town. You have the water, the yacht club, um, you have Farnsworth Avenue with the galleries, restaurants. So there's a lot to do and uh, it's just a good place to be. A lot of different things to paint. I drove through here on the 4th of July and uh, it's like a great little town. It's like a little jewel that uh, a lot of people don't know about. You know, been by 295 many times, seen the little marina there, and I said, yeah, that's quite scenic, and uh, you know, drove through the town. It's it's a really amazing place. Part I love to paint water, so uh, yeah, water is uh, something that attracts me as far as painting. So uh, yeah, that's what uh, brought me down to this location. I like the Anchor because it's big. Um, it's in a good secluded area of the town. I don't have too many distractions, and it's kind of the style that I would normally paint. Um, I like to do single objects rather than an entire scene. I like painting a lot. It's a hobby of mine. It's not a profession necessarily. Um, it's not my area of expertise in terms of education, but it's something I can always do. Well, I started painting uh, about six years ago. I saw a documentary on NJN uh, about uh, plain air painters, and uh, I'm an art director in real life. I decided at that time I wanted to start painting, and uh, yeah, living here in South Jersey, there are lots of sights to see, and uh, Gave it a shot and uh, been doing it for about eh, about six years now, and uh, had a little bit of success. I'm in a couple of galleries and uh, yeah, having a good time. It's nice to be out here instead of in front of the computer screen.